This is my fuel injector cleanup setup. 12 volt battery, the All Sun uh, injector tester and pulse, pulser, and then the digital ultrasonic cleaner. Um, it says Digital Pro, I don't know. Just hate to say it, but a Chinese product off of uh, Amazon. And basically, the injector tester is also. But it works pretty good. I filled it with water, and then I put a uh, glass bottle inside. And in the glass bottle, I put sea foam. Then I put the injector inside. Before I started this, all these injectors tested good with ohms. They tested about 15 ohms. So the resistance was good, but none of them would pulse. The, um, I guess you'd say the plunger on the inside was not moving. It was locked up for some reason. Either rust or crud or particles, who knows. So electrically they were good mechanically they were not so after doing this for two days i first started it in increments of two minutes uh, using the uh, ultrasonic cleaner and just on that two minute uh, blast or probably about three two minute blasts i was able to recover eight out of 16. and then the other eight were problem childs it didn't uh, didn't really matter. So today, I used the sonic cleaner for 10 minutes each one, and then bumped it up to 15 minutes. And then I started doing it in increments of three 15-minute blasts. And there's still no movement on the plunger. So at that point, I decided to get a little bit more forceful. So I hooked up the pulser and just lightly tapped the exterior metal portion of each injector with a hammer and that freed up whatever was causing the plunger not to move so as soon as that occurred then i stuck it back into the sea foam and ran each one for another 15 minutes with the ultrasonic cleaner and the pulser going at the same time in a bath of sea foam i'm not going to say i'm done because at this point each one is going to be back flushed with my little pump and filter uh, system I've got going. And I'll back flush it with more sea foam. Just because it's what I got available. It's not so much that I really enjoy using sea foam or think it's better than anything else. It's just what was easy to obtain and that's what I had. So anyway, so I'll back flush it. I'll hook up uh, the outlet side of the hose to the outlet end of the injector and see if I can push anything out. I've already removed the filters. And then after I do that, then I'll switch it around and push it through the inlet side of the injector and basically just observe the spray that's coming out. Uh, the eight I did previously, the spray was pretty forceful and I could clearly see the four pat or four spray pattern there was no uh, no hesitation so i'm calling those good this unfortunately the pump is only um, about five to nine psi i try I had a 75 psi uh, automotive electric automotive pump but that was not a good idea it kept blowing the hoses so we went for a little bit uh, less psi here and of course any everything i'm pumping through the injector is going through a filter and it's clean sea foam to begin with in a in a clean container. So anyway, these have now have um, moving plungers, and the resistance is good. So I just need to back flush them and then uh, do a spray check, and we should all be good after that.